one more with the district attorney, David Lozier, a good man who's out there working hard for all of us every single day. And, you know, I go back to Ed Tosi, Teresa Dukovic, Tony B. Rosh. I mean, these are people, Clarence Nish, who worked in the office, that were instrumental in me growing as a man, as a reporter. But more importantly, I saw on the front line what they do every day, and that's why I have such respect for people like him and what they do. Now, this election coming up, and I've talked to a lot of folks that are going to be running, in particular mutual friend Keith Rappas, and he's discussed with me over the last couple of days everything from creating manufacturing jobs, the opioid epidemic, our public schools, the energy grid. We've talked about protecting seniors, a better tax base. And you, let me shake your hand, a veteran, a helicopter pilot. That is really cool. I found that out yesterday. That was a different lifetime I know. a long time ago. You're still, that's cool. That's very cool. And, and I found that out yesterday, and I haven't stopped thinking about it. So we're going to get him to, uh, in one of our uh, upcoming Veterans Day shows in just a few short weeks. But talk about some of those issues, and as we head towards the midterm, why those really, I believe, are the key issues. And again, register to vote if you have it, and Absolutely. please get out and exercise your right to vote. The economy right now is huge. There are a lot of people saying that we would never see low unemployment again, that we would never see high employment again, that, that in manufacturing the U.S. was gone, that the, the jobs were always going to be sucked out of the country overseas. And that's all stopped now. With the leadership we have in Congress and in the White House right now, you, know, you may not like, like the man Donald Trump. We all have grievances with Donald Trump, but he's done what he said he was going to do. From he's a businessman, right? Right. And he's got the jobs back, the manufacturing is booming. We have we have wages going up for the first time in 20 years. We have, we have employment, the highest since I was in high school. Unemployment is the lowest since I was in college. The economy is moving forward. People need to vote to keep that going forward. And because of what he did during that election with social media, talking good news and creating jobs like I'm trying to do day in and day out, I think people are understanding that there is hope. And where there is hope, you have hope. Amen. All right, exactly. ladies and gentlemen, District Attorney David Lozier. Up next, we're headed to Geneva College. It's homecoming weekend for the GTs as they welcome Bethany to Reeves Stadium on Saturday at 3 o'clock. We'll get caught up with Coach Gino DeMarco. So until later tonight, enjoy the rest of your afternoon. Good Thank afternoon. you.